And the other amazing thing about this cubby that I did not mean to do is it perfectly fits a 30 rack. Down at the bottom, a 30 rack fits perfectly right there. I nailed it. I now we're gonna kind of go a little bit more in depth with all of this. Um, you hear the jingling Leia's down at my feet right now. And we're gonna basically work our way from the head down. So let's get to work. As I've said, this helmet has been retired. Why did I retire it? Well, there's certain things with a helmet that you kind of have to like take into consideration. So obviously there's where you put it on your head and you move your head around. If there's any lag um, from when your head's moving around and when the helmet's moving with you, it's because the foam is bad and it's just, it's not a good fit anymore, which means it won't do well in an accident. You don't want any lag between your head and your helmet. That means your helmet's doing something and it's not protecting your brain. It takes that split second. Um, a lot of helmets, much like this one, will have on the inside, if you look underneath, it will say right in here, when exactly it was made. So this one was August of 2012. So if you go based off of the test um, of just years, a helmet's only good for five years. Eight years out of the box, five years in use. Um, that was in the box for one year, so I got my five years out of it. If it's a helmet that you really love, replace the foam when you can. It might last a little bit longer. But again, it's not the foam that's the pro. It's not like the inserts that are the problem. It's the actual helmet foam lining that starts, the resin starts to dry out after those five years of being in use. Um, one way to make it last longer is to not put gel in your hair, not put makeup on your face. Um, any of those chemicals will seep into the resin and it will make it last even shorter. This new helmet is much more um, safer. It's new, um, it's never been used. It's brand new out of the box this year. Um, it was made December 2017, so it's perfect, it's mint. That means that once I start riding this year, I'll have it until December, or well yeah, December of 20. 22 or maybe even 2023 depending on how well it gets taken care of the one thing that you need to notice on a helmet is Don't look at the shell when you're trying to figure out if it's safe There are always going to be those little tiny nicks um, in the shell if you look at my Maverick helmet There's plenty of them um, There's little nicks from where rocks hit it right here uh, There's nicks up here from where rocks hit it there's all different kinds of like little tiny scuff marks that kind of just show you. Like there's little nicks back here and whatnot. So that's not a good indication of if a helmet is still safe. Always use the other test that I told you about. Jackets, it depends on the armor. Um, most jackets will last you seven years. Some like that really nice like plasticky armor will last you even longer. Um, that can actually outlive the jacket, but basically if you start noticing any deformation, anything that kind of is not of the norm and you feel that it's impacting the safety, replace it. This is where it comes down to, do I worry about my safety or do I worry about, oh, that jacket looks really nice. I'm going to keep wearing it until I literally wear it out. You don't want to wear out a jacket. You don't want to wear out a helmet. You don't want to wear out gloves or anything. It's not something that you want to risk yourself with. So don't go to that level. Um, every season when you're done riding, um, make sure you test all the armor. Look at all the armor. If there's any like big creases in armor where your pointiest bits are, your shoulders, your um, elbows, all where the padding is if there's any creases that's padding that's not protecting you that's padding that's not protecting a part that's going to hit the ground now we're going our way down let's talk about gloves 
So I just replaced my gloves to make sure the knuckles are good and the palms are good. If the knuckles and the palms are good, you're pretty much good to go. You don't need to replace your gear yet. Shoes play a considerable role in riding. You don't really want to say, hey, you know, my shoes are doing okay. So obviously if you know that your shoes are looking bad, replace them. Shoes can be expensive, but when taken care of properly, they can literally last forever. There's, as long as the reflectors are good, um, the paddings are good, the comfortability is good, the waterproofing is good, you're good to go. In all honesty, that's what you want to look for in a shoe. That's what matters. Um, you don't really need to go, whoa, hold on a second. My shoes are a year old. I should replace them. No, you don't need to. It's not that serious. Um, so like I said, top down, helmet. Replace that helmet five years of use or eight years out of the box. Um, so if like a jackets, uh, every seven years, I'd say gloves. Um, I'd say gloves when you start to feel them go, when you start realizing, wow, that palm really, when I hit my hand, I can kind of hear my own, I can kind of hear that clap of my actual hand, not the glove anymore. That's a problem. <laughs> Your gloves are constantly in use and you don't want to screw around with them. Um, shoes, again, unless you have a serious issue with them, there's really no need to replace them, in all honesty. And like I said, unless there's an accident with any of this, stick to these guidelines. If there is like an accident with your jacket, check it. Obviously, if there's an accident, it's probably not going to look good to ride in anyways anymore. Um, so you're going to end up replacing it. Or it's with spring coming. It's right around the corner. Uh, spring just hit about two weeks ago now. So make sure that you ride safe. Always remember, two down, stay up. So safety is not based on price. You can get good gear for a low price, not for a cheap price, a low price. Note the difference there. This is Team Rev. We're signing off for now. I told you this was coming. I didn't think I was going to do a full gear thing, but once I saw this cubby, I kind of was like, you know what? This is awesome.